you see it and you know it's staged, but you still a little bit wonder like, what's wrong with me? You know, we all have like our kind of emotional baggage when it comes to Christmas. get our shit together, let's get cozy, let's get in the Christmas spirit. <laughs> Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today is Friday, it's a really exciting day because I am, this is like the first day of my new job, except that I have to wait until 6 p.m. to go, which just doesn't make any sense in my mind. I woke up this morning at like 6.15 before my alarm eyes wide open, like ready to go. And my class still wasn't for another 12 hours. So if you guys saw my last vlog, you probably saw that I got a new job. And that job is as a bar instructor, a fitness instructor. This is gonna be my new side hustle. And it's something that I've been dreaming of for years, for many, many years, probably like, three, four years, maybe even longer. I've been dreaming of this and the day is finally here. I am so nervous, just like so freaking nervous. Yesterday and like all week leading up to today, I felt very excited, I felt very confident. And as my day has gone on today, I'm feeling honestly worse and worse, just like more anxious, more nervous, because if you guys have never been to a fitness class or to a bar class, basically the teacher is up in front, leading the class, doing the movements along with everyone else. In my case, I'm like speaking into a microphone. I'm trying to keep time with the music, give everyone the cues that they need. There's really a lot going on and it's super fun. It's super exhilarating. But in my case tonight, I think there are 12 or 13 people registered for my class out of like 20 potential spots. And they're all just gonna be like staring at me. And I'm just like, I hope they like me. I hope they like my class. But then you also know that you're new, it's your first time. So there's no way you're gonna be perfect. Anyways, that is everything that's going on in my head. I think I've vlogged my first day of like every single job I've ever had since graduating university, whether that was training. I took you guys along to my week of training when I got my job at the big four. I vlogged my tech consulting job. I vlogged my startup consulting job. Uh, I vlogged when I was going back to work part-time at the fitness studio. And now here I am, I'm vlogging as an instructor. So it's really cool to have all these memories to look back on. Some of you may have been along from the beginning or you know wherever you've been along from, like we're just on this journey together. And I think it's super cool. Obviously being a fitness instructor is very different than corporate consulting. And for me, this is a lot more of like a side hustle than my main career at this point. Like it's not, it's not something that I see myself taking full time anytime soon. It's really just like a hobby that I have that I wanted to turn, just kind of take it to the next level, I guess, because I've always loved taking spin classes and taking bar classes. I'll be honest, I've been a lot less consistent lately. And honestly, since COVID, I've had a really hard time getting back into like a very, not aggressive, like aggressive is not the right word, but I used to go to the studio like once or twice every single day. Like sometimes I would go before work and after work, like I was addicted. And now I go a couple times a week if I'm like on a good week, but it's still always been this thing where I'm like, oh, I would love to be in front of the class, giving the class and now it's happening. <sighs> oh my God. I did not mean to slam my phone down. This vlog is going to be a very all over the place because we're gonna do the whole new job thing. Then I kind of wanna pivot and I want to get into the Christmas spirit with you guys because it is almost December and I have no Christmas decorations up. My tree is still in my storage locker and like enough is enough. I wanna get this place Christmasized. This is my first Christmas in this apartment, first Christmas living with JS. And then we're gonna pivot once again and we're gonna go car shopping. So that's what's in store. The kind of theme that I wanted to tie this all together was fresh start, like fresh job, redecorating the apartment, new car, more on that later. So I just hope this vlog can be cozy and comforting and maybe give you guys that fresh start feeling. I feel like Every few weeks, every few months, we just wanna hit a reset. We wanna feel that fresh start. So that's what this vlog's gonna be about. Now, I've been having a bit of a rough day. I told you guys I woke up super early, was very excited, and my day is just kind of going like this. Like, I really think I need to put on my workout clothes and get out of the house. 
I've been trying to focus on my copywriting work today and I'm just so nervous for this class that like, I, I just can't focus, like it's not happening. I'm also just feeling very irritated today and I need you guys to like, let me know if you ever have these days where like the sound of your phone vibrating makes you wanna like throw it against the room, you know, or like, I, I keep getting phone calls today. I'm like, people keep calling me. Like, what is going on? Like, please stop calling me. I, I can't focus. I'm all over the place. I'm distracted. Like, it's just a really, really, I just feel so irritated. And so I, I know that I just need to close my laptop, but I have like two more press releases I need to write. And then I'm like, get me out of here. Anyways, welcome to this vlog. Welcome back to my channel. We're gonna have a long rambly video, I think, ahead of us. And I hope you enjoy it. So, I just really wanted to start this vlog because I had to get my irritation off my chest and I know you guys are gonna come through in the comments and let me know if I'm alone in literally just the sound of my phone vibrating. It's putting me on edge today, like I, I can't handle it. If we take a look at my apartment, you would think that I'm moving, but I'm not. I just came home from my little work retreat and I instant, I needed to revamp everything. So I actually just sold this, what's it called? There was a bookshelf there and I just sold it on Facebook Marketplace. That's why I had my phone ringer on waiting for the person to come pick it up. So that's gone. JS and I never loved that shelf. I think it's a really nice shelf, but just not for this space. So it's gone. We moved all the books out of the way for now. I gave away that plant. There was like a money tree there. I gave it away in the community Facebook group for my neighborhood. And then the desk, which is normally in that corner there, we moved it over here, which this is not a good spot for it, not at all, but it's just temporary while I have a crisis. <laughs> I think I get this way kind of every, oh look, I look what I was drinking, which is not, not helping. Let's put it away. I think I get this way towards the end of the year, every year, like it was around this time last year that I decided I wanted to move out of my old apartment. Like I get very restless and I get this like intense desire for change because I think November, December, I get very, very reflective and I start to like reflect on certain things in my life. Is this right? Is this working for me? You know, what's good, what's not so good. Um, and I've been going through a lot of like, work changes, just thinking about work a lot, like, you know, what am I doing? What's going on? Looking at my space and being like, what is making me happy? What is not making me happy? Like, what what can we get rid of? It happens, it happens always this, this time of year. I don't really know why, but it does. So anyways, I think too, sometimes I get really overwhelmed on Fridays because it's about to be the weekend. I know I'm gonna have to like, just kind of relinquish control, I think on the weekends where it's like, okay, it's time to relax. And like, you can't be glued to your computer on the weekend or you don't wanna be. The people in your life don't want you to be because they wanna hang out with you and stuff. And I tend to get this like panic on Fridays where I'm like, oh my gosh, I have all these things. I need to finish all these loose ends. And I put a lot of pressure on myself to finish everything on Fridays. So I think that's where some of this stress is coming from as well. My class is at 6 p.m., but it is in Rockland. It's in like Rockland Shopping Center, which is far. I need to give myself literally an hour. I wanna give myself like an hour of driving time and then an hour to be at the studio because I wanna practice. I have some stuff I need to figure out. So I need to leave two hours basically before my class. So I need to leave at four. It's currently two. So I have two hours to finish my stuff, which is ample time, but I'm just being an anxious girl right now. Anyways, I'm gonna get back to work and then we're gonna put on our workout clothes and we're gonna feel better. So I need to pick out what I'm going to wear for my class. These are all my sports bras, my leggings. Those are shorts, it's way too cold, uh, like tops, t-shirts, and then little sweaters. I want to do something pink, so I'm thinking of doing this off-the-shoulder pink bra from Lululemon. And then it's either white pants or um, black pants, but I think I'm going to go black because I keep talking about how nervous I am and I feel like it's a tiny bit easier to like stay within your comfort zone in terms of 
what you're wearing. <laughs> I'm just gonna go for my trusty old Lululemon. These are like wonder unders from a million years ago. And I swear they're better than the Aligns. And then to really give me that bar look, I'm gonna do a zip up. This is a cropped one from Garage. This bra I'm obsessed with. It's from Lululemon and it actually holds up super well. I have a D cup chest and Lululemon bras are kind of hit or miss for me, especially one shoulder. I was like, I don't know how this is gonna go, but it's perfect. You just size up a little bit if you have bigger boobs. I will link this in the description for you guys and it's freezing. So I'm gonna put on this little jacket. They actually gave me like, the studio gave me a special instructor sweater. Um, that I can't wait to put on and I'm gonna wait until I'm in the car because Mag it's black and Maggie's hair will just get stuck all over it There's something about this like activewear material that the hair doesn't get stuck as much But on that sweater, I know it will and it's super cool. It says like instructor up the arm I actually can't wait to wear it. There's so many like little cool things like having my own microphone getting that special sweater that are just these fun tiny tiny bonus perks that make you feel extra special when starting a new job and like it's like that for any job like I remember getting sent um, a Yeti I still have it <laughs> from the job I got laid off for they sent me this Yeti and I just put stickers over their logo but it was like so special you know it's it's, it's the little things like that I am going to put a tiny bit of concealer on and maybe some highlight just to give me a boost of confidence And I wanna show you guys something. So my friend Raysa, who owns the line, she sent me like an early Christmas gift. And this arrived last weekend. I was away on Saturday and I got home Sunday morning and there was a little package at my doorstep. I had no idea she was sending me anything. And last Sunday was the day of my very first class. It was like my friends and family class. So I'm super nervous, I'm freaking out. And I opened the box and there's this gorgeous, like thick, 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 cotton tote bag with oh, with this gorgeous lululemon water bottle and i just felt like it was a sign i like she didn't know or she didn't time it so that it would arrive the day of my class but it was perfect so i decided this is going to be my teaching bag and this is going to be my teaching water bottle <laughs> i was such a freak after my class i came home washed the water bottle dried it and then put it in the bag and i'm like you're only allowed to drink from this water bottle when you're teaching or maybe when i go take a class i'm allowed to but this is like my bar bag inside the bag it's super super big which is lovely is my microphone so this is my personal like microphone thing we each get our own for hygiene it just plugs into the mic pack but this is like the little headset it's very lizzie mcguire this is what dreams are made of and then this is the sweater i was telling you guys about it just says b cycle and it says instructeur because <laughs> we're in montreal and we speak french so that's what's going in this bag. I am gonna bring my laptop. But this was like the best little gift ever. I swear, all these little things making me feel so special. I'm going to make a little avocado toast. I hope these avocados are good. Avocado and feta toast. Oh, there's two eggs left. Two eggs for me. <laughs> I'm feeling so much better. I finished work and another thing, do you guys ever finish work and you're like, oh, oh my God, finally, just finally. <laughs> like, <laughs> the stuff I was working on today, I'm not gonna lie, was not my favorite task. Writing press releases about what I'm writing press releases about, it's not emotional or creative or, it's just kind of like, it's just got to get done. And all jobs have, you know, little elements that are like that, but that's what I was doing today. And it dragged on and on and on. So I feel so relieved that it's done. And I'm ready to turn this day around and go, ready to go get that fresh start feeling. I think, I think it's great. We love, 
rolling into the weekend feeling good. And at least I got the work done. I could have given up and been like, you know what? It's my first bar class day. I'm not gonna do it. And then I would have postponed it till Monday and then I would have felt worse on Monday. So it's done and I'm glad. I bought this bread because Hannah Adkins, if you guys watch her on YouTube, she always eats bread like this. And Camilla came over last night and I showed her what I got and she goes, Zoe, that looks disgusting. And I'm like, yeah, but look, there's a fit girl running on it. So if I eat this bread, I'm gonna be like her or I'm gonna be like Hannah Adkins. But I feel like if I toast it super crispy, it'll taste good. You're welcome, Pop. Our next story is more holiday shopping. Cheermeister. We are here. I'm at Rockland. I just pulled in and parked. It's my first time ever coming to this mall. And it's so funny because so much of this is really like a real first day at work where you're like, okay, where do I go? Like I have to go. I just parked somewhere random, but I'm assuming there's parking all around the mall. And I don't know if I parked close to where the studio is. So I'm gonna go find out. I'm really, really excited. It's funny because I've worked at the studio before, not this studio, different location. So I'm very familiar with like the company, the culture, um, you know, the branding, everything. Like it's gonna look inside just like all the other studios, just brand new. But then there's also elements of this that are totally new to me. So in case you guys didn't watch that vlog, sorry, I'm just turning off my GPS. In case you guys didn't watch that vlog, I just wanted to talk quickly about like how I how I got into this because like I mentioned earlier, you know, I've been struggling like with my fitness. So it's like, well, you've been struggling with your fitness. Like, how are you going to go teach a class? Working at B-Cycle was my part time job in university. In the last my last year of university, I worked there scrubbing the toilets, cleaning the bikes, mopping the floors, checking in clients, doing customer service. Like, I feel like I've done everything at that studio except of course teach a class and I even worked there as a energy exchange volunteer before COVID when I was still going into the office like after I graduated I worked one shift a week because I just loved it so much and I was trading like my time for a free membership and those were the days where I was really going all the time like the pre-COVID pre-Maggie days now yes getting and sticking in to a fitness routine has been insanely hard for me. I will sign up for this at-home program and I like do it for a week and it doesn't stick or you know I'll get into a really good routine of going to the studio because I that's the thing so because last fall I came back and started working here part-time again just to like get me out of the house and then I got back my free membership and then all through the training I still had the free membership. Um, so you'd think like oh my god it's free like you would go all the time but I just have the hardest time <laughs> motivating myself to to get out so it is kind of ironic that like I was doing these trainings and the trainings did definitely force me to take more classes but what I think is cool is like I'm not the most motivated person I'm not the most fit person like I lose my breath going up a flight of stairs like planks are really hard for me I get tired doing sit-ups like doing this class that I'm about to go give is hard for me it's hard work and I think that by giving the classes like I'm just like a real person giving a class I'm not this like perfect ultra fit person so we can really get stronger together in my classes and just like improve on our fitness together and you don't have to be this like super fit person with a perfect outfit to come to the class like it's really for everyone and that's also what I love about B-Cycle and I think why I've stuck around for so long there are so many spin studios and bar studios and gyms in Montreal but 
Bicycles philosophy is come as you are. It's not about, you don't need to already be in shape before you show up. You don't need to show up to get in shape. You can just show up for fun. Um, there's no like pressure. Like I think we've all felt that judgment and pressure walking into a gym or to a studio before and it's a terrible feeling. And the goal there at Bicycle and what I want the goal for my class to be as well is to just feel super welcoming that you walk in and you feel welcomed. So that's my goal. If you're ever in Montreal, if you're ever in the Rockland area on a Friday night and you want to come take my class, I think that'd be super cool. Um, I'm going to go in and figure it all out now. I'm actually really excited. My nerves and it's all going in waves, but I definitely have some stuff I need to review. Oh, and... Um, part of the new teacher process is you get assigned a mentor. So my mentor is gonna be here taking my class. My mentor is a teacher who has been teaching for a little while. We all get assigned a mentor and she's gonna come take my class. We meet after she gives me feedback and she's going to review what I have planned for class number two, which I haven't done yet. So I have an hour to get ready, build next week's class, and then it's go time. So let's go. Oh my god, it's freezing. Let's get that heat seater on. Guys, that was so fun. That was like exhilarating. It was wonderful. I am so happy. Everyone who came was so nice. Oh. People were so kind and supportive like at the beginning of the class when I was said like it was my first class people started clapping and there were a bunch of people who it was their first time total beginners and that made me really happy too especially to see them happy and smiling at the end of class it was just wonderful really really amazing experience like <laughs> wonderful first day on the job I'm really happy this is a long time in the wishing in the making in the training like I've been training since June, I've been, <laughs> I've been training twice a week from 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. And you guys know I'm not a night person. Like I've really, I've dedicated a lot to this and I'm so glad that it's just come full circle um, and it just feels wonderful. So now we get to kick off the weekend. I'm gonna go, I'm not sure if I'm gonna go home and eat first and then go get the Christmas tree from the storage locker or just go get the Christmas tree. But let's let the Christmas spirit begin. We're transitioning into phase two of this vlog. And I'm just so excited to keep hanging out with you guys. Yeah, tell us what we're having. We're gonna have three pizzas. One is gonna be uh, ricotta, mozzarella, figs, figs, <laughs> uh, honey, and balsamic reduction. Then we're gonna have a classic like tomato sauce, mozzarella. Basil. Oh, sounds so good. And a third one with whatever's left. Basically. That's beautiful. Should be pretty good. What movie are we gonna watch? Uh, we're not gonna watch a movie. What? It's too late. Yeah, we're gonna watch a movie. Or should we finish selling sunset? Let's we'll finish selling sunset. We should we should refinish cars. morning guys I feel like this vlog is just going in all directions I want it to be like this fresh start thing and once again I'm feeling like super irritated today I just we're just driving over here and I literally got on camera like me and Jean arguing um, anyways there's no Christmas tree yet as you can see because there were no clips of us setting up the Christmas tree I feel like I'm trying to get in the festive mood 
and I don't know there's just like certain blocks JS is a bit of a Grinch <laughs> I'm honestly I told him this to his face this is not me gossiping about him but I think you know we all have like our kind of emotional baggage when it comes to Christmas and like my coping <laughs> mechanism for that is like trying to be festive trying to romanticize it trying to decorate and get in the spirit and I know I also have this like bad tendency to try and like force other people to do it with me like with my mom she always hated Christmas hated it hated it hated it and I would like try and try and like force her to be happy and like you can't force anyone to be happy and so I'm trying to force Gene to like get with me and like let's decorate the apartment let's put up the tree and he's like not super into it but we'll get there we'll get there anyways today we are on the way to go car shopping not for me <laughs> not for me <laughs> definitely not for me but JS has decided to trade in this car I think it was something like his lease his lease is coming due and he kind of had the choice he had basically like three options keep this car have no car like I offered if he just wants to share my car with me we would save so much money the car is paid off all we, he would have to do is like contribute a little bit to like the gas or whatever pay his insurance and then like we would split the parking situation but he would save a lot of money what you can come back I kicked him out. Well, not actually. Maggie was crying, so I sent them out. Yeah, so you had three options. Keep this car, have no car and share with me, mm -hmm. and get a new car. Mm -hmm. And you weighed the three options, mm -hmm. and the best choice was for you. This sounds incredible, though. Hmm? Like, this sounds not believable. Yeah, that's the thing. So, <laughs> so, Obviously, the best, the best, smartest choice is, duh, just share with your girlfriend. You live in the city. You don't need two cars. Like, just share the car and whatever. Um, upgrading cars, everything he was, or not upgrading, but like changing cars, everything he was looking at would cost like the same, if not more money. And I was kind of like, well, that's not like really a good smart decision to make in this economy <laughs> is to like spend more money. So, I don't know, you describe your thinking process. I'm not gonna speak for you. Well, that, that's it. I didn't wanna spend more money. I had a cap at what this car cost me. Yeah. Um, so you wanted to spend the same. I was thinking, try and spend less. Like, yeah. try and spend less. Yeah. Because everything nowadays is just so expensive. Like, let's yeah. try and, and spend less. So I couldn't keep this car and spend the same amount. It would've, it would've been the same price to just keep the car, which makes no sense yeah. in the lease. Uh, and this car's having, like coming due on its warranty and stuff and they were like things starting to yeah yeah I had a bad bad uh, episode this summer with it I didn't have the car for a month I yeah remember that. it's true yeah and it was expensive to it fix. was expensive to fix then I have the car for a month uh, not having a car is like I like cars so to me it's like it's the practicality and also like it's one of you know one of my hobbies one of the things I like yeah I feel like a lot of people don't get that and I certainly didn't get it at first like how is cars your hobby like whatever but now I get it like you're very passionate about it it's sick and this is what I was telling him on the way here like I feel like there's two types of car people there's like people who actually love cars and they love the mechanics and they love like the history of the different car companies and they love like the way it drives and everything like that and then there's car people who just like the brands and so you're like oh I want to drive a Porsche because it's a Porsche I want to drive an Audi BMW like you just want the name which that would definitely be more like me <laughs> like yeah I would just want you know whatever nice car and I wouldn't like spec it out super fancy because like I, I don't care I would just want the brand and then the comparison that I drew is like fashion people there's like fashion people who care about the materials and who know about the history of the brands and then there's fashion people who just like the labels where they just want like the Gucci t-shirt or whatever mm -hmm. so you would fall into the like connoisseur I guess yeah, category more, uh, I appreciate it yeah yeah so uh, the smart choice was to actually get a, another car yeah. But not a new car. Not a new car. It's a new make. used car. Yeah. And so this was the car that you kind of had your eye on, right? Since the beginning of summer. Yeah, he's kind of had his eye on like this model of car. And then one showed up at your dealership. Yeah. They're hard to find because they're not popular. 
you guys will see in a minute. And yeah, I just happened to call the dealer to call the dealership, and I was like, "Hey, what do you think of this car?" He's like, "Well, I have one in stock." And I'm like, "No, you don't." And he's like, "Yeah, it just came in." So I think uh, the stars were aligned. The stars were aligned, and then you started doing the calculations. Yeah. And you were actually going to be saving what, two hundred bucks a month? Close to three hundred, a bit over. Like, Most of it in insurance. In insurance, yeah. But still, still phenomenal. Three hundred dollars a month in insurance. I'm like, yeah, yeah. So obviously, you don't need my permission to do anything. Like you, certainly what, not. You do whatever you want. But when he told me that, I was like, okay, I approve. Yeah. Not that, that sense. you need my approval, but I approve. It so, rationalizes the decision. Yeah, for sure. Like it takes your kind of passion away from it and makes it a bit more practical. Yeah. Right? Your time to drive. All right, my time to drive. Okay, we're, we're so we're gonna go to the dealership. We're gonna show you guys, we'll say goodbye to this car. We'll show you the new car and it'll be fun. And then we're gonna go buy an elf on a shelf. Yeah. Grinch. Probably not. Why not? Well, not today. Why? Well, there's Walmart, like right, right there. Yeah, but we don't know how long this takes. And Tell them about why you're a Grinch. I'm not a Grinch. You are. Not now, later. <laughs> we're late for the dealership. Nice building. Yeah. Do you think they'll let me test drive a G Wagon? Probably not. Why not? Because he... I have good credit. <laughs> yeah. But... Well, I guess people would just come and like F yeah. around. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you gotta empty everything. Yeah, there's gonna be stuff in there as well, like paperwork. Just take it you all. You need all of it? Just take it and uh, we'll, we'll, we'll filter uh, whether it's good or not. Wait. Look at this, guys. Oh, wait, there's something else in the back. <laughs> this is what Gene keeps in his car. So we're at Clearview, which is like, it's like a deal. I, I would say it's like a curated dealership where they like get all these. They have normal cars, and then mm -hmm. they have like a bunch of luxury cars. Yep. Um. So while he goes talks with the boys, we're gonna go look at nice cars because I'm that person who only cares about the brands. I'm like, oh, just give me a G wagon. <laughs> but you know. Watching him go through this, I'm so freaking glad my car's paid off. And I love my car more and more that it's paid off. I'm just like, ugh, stay running well forever, please. <laughs> okay, say goodbye. Bye bye, good car. To this car. This was a good car. It was a good car. Yeah, it was really nice. You had it a good, good amount of time. Say bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> Maggie, say bye. You rode around a lot in that car. Oh yeah, she did mileage. Oh yeah. Can I give you the, the, the dog? Yep. Let's and go. Close, uh, close handed. Yeah. Ooh, do you think there's a car inside those boxes? <laughs> G-Wagon. I think this is what I want for Christmas. <laughs> it's so nice with the red. Damn. Maybe one day. He's in his new car. And new whip. Looks like looks like on three, on three. <laughs> Wait, 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 with, with music or no? No, no music. No music? Well, because I can't play music on the video. Oh true. Okay, one, two, three. <laughs> it's true. One step closer to, to Lewis Hamilton. To being a Formula One driver. To Daddy Hamilton. Daddy Hamill. Where's Maggie, you might ask? We left her at the dealership. No, so, okay, this is a station wagon, and Maggie's all the way in the back. She is. You know what's funny, actually? You're one step closer to Daddy Hamilton, but you're one step closer to being a dad, because dads drive station wagons. 
That's true. My dad always drove a station wagon. So yeah, this is his new car. It's a, tell us what it is. It's a, Mer a 2020 Mercedes C43 wagon, which there is, we spoke about the rarity of the vehicle, mm -hmm. vehicle earlier. That's where it comes in. There's a lot of Mercedes C100s in whatever the, the it is. There's a bit fewer of C43s and these are even less of wagons because they only make them in Europe in North America. Uh, so not in, uh, Canada, in Canada. Not, it's not, not available US. in the US. The US doesn't get that car. It's pretty nice. Yeah, it's nice. You you see this It's not as this low is down. Alcantara. Yeah, it's not as low down as I thought. You mean uh like where you sit? Like when you get into the car, you're not like, "Oh, like going down?" Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's cool, I think is this even the passenger seat has like the program, so Yeah. I can come in and just press my button. It's a nice little I thing. I always know when someone else has been in your car because I'm like, my seating set, like, yeah, my seating uh, settings settings are off. You're cheating on me. Yeah. With a long leg woman. Long leg. <laughs> okay. Because I like to sit very upright in the car. See these things? Show us. So the the, the steering wheel <laughs> is, is phenomenal. I, I I love the steering wheel. Okay. It has the first button here, which is one where you turn between comfort, sport, sport plus. So yeah, this is the car. It's pretty nice. Let's let's see from the front. Oh, let's pick up these people's garbage. Stunning, stunning. Good morning guys, happy Sunday. Today is the day where it's all gonna happen. We are gonna do a major get your shit together Sunday and I'm so excited. Yesterday after we went and picked up the car, we had plans for one of Jess's friend's birthday and it was kind of like this whole day thing and then had some errands to run in the middle of it, very like just running around. And Jess and I looked at each other. I was like, do we have plans tomorrow? And he was like, no. And we both agreed that we're gonna do just the major get your shit together Sunday. Oh. We have a huge to-do list, which hopefully we'll all get done. If it doesn't, then you know it's okay. We're gonna do our best. On that to-do list is the Christmas tree, of course. We're gonna change actually the sink. The sink faucet has been, ma'am. Do you guys like my mug? <laughs> the sink faucet has been leaking like for months and months and months. And anyways, we're finally gonna change the sink. We sold that bookshelf. I showed you guys like where the bookshelf is missing and we're like, okay, take the money. We're gonna go buy a new sink. Um, so JS is gonna change that today. I think it's stressing it out. And then I will be in charge of Christmas tree. The other thing, hi Frankie. The other thing that we finally need to do is wash the cushion covers. What is that? We need to wash the cushion covers of this couch because we let the dogs on the couch and everything and so obviously it just gets pretty dirty pretty quick. But I've never I've never been brave enough. I love this couch so much, but I've never been brave enough to like take the covers off and wash them. So that's going to happen today and that's going to get the ball rolling because we're going to do that and then go to Home Depot and it's action time. So, come along. I'm so excited. Let's get our shit together. Let's get cozy. Let's get in the Christmas spirit. <laughs> Let's go. Okay, I cannot get these cushion covers off. I feel like such an idiot.
Jean got yeah water the water was like it was so funny he called for help and it was just this like stream of water it was like something you'd see in like that's so raven like on one of the Disney shows just like the water pouring out but would you say that was the harder part or the hard part is still to come I think that was n not a harder part the, the I think both ways it's because like you see this is the end of the sink yeah. This is the wall here. Oh, so there's no room. That's all the space you have to turn inside. Let's show again. Up. This is the sink, right? So from here to about here is all the space you have. Yeah. And you need, you know, to torque a bit to loosen. And, Get that out. Um, and I'm just vacuuming up. And then it's going to be, I'm just vacuuming the couch actually. And then it's gonna be Christmas time, Christmas tree time. So this is the new sink. It's so much more like sleek and compact. I'm so happy. I don't know if I ever showed you guys, but the old sink was really, really leaky. Like it would spill water from here, would spill water from here, would spill water from here, and it would especially spill water from here. If you tried to take down the faucet and like clean the sink, you were getting hosed, like literally hosed by the sink. It was so bad. And I think it was one of those things that JS kind of like built up in his head that it was gonna be a bigger project and more expensive than it actually was. This sink was on sale at Home Depot. We kind of like, we went to Home Depot like three or four times to like check out the different faucets. And then it took him 30 minutes to install it. So I'm definitely very happy. And I know he is too. Like, it's just nice to have a sink that doesn't spray you with water. And I think this one looks better too. It's just more compact. Like I said, my computer is out here because I just uploaded a new video all about five really life-changing lessons that my debt taught me. Um, I think it's one of the best like sit down videos I've made in a while. So if you want to check that out, I think you would really like it or let me know if you've watched it already and what you thought of it. I'm really proud of that video. If we move over into the living room, the couch is still all taken apart. I'm waiting for these things to dry because you actually can't put them in the dryer. Oh, they're almost dry. That's great. And I brought out the Christmas tree. <laughs> Look at how like horribly I packed it up, but I forgot how big this tree was. I've had this for a few years now. I think I got it at Canadian Tire like on sale probably two or three years ago. Um, and it's seven feet tall, so I'm so excited. I always think that it's like this small little tree, but seven feet is really big. So, so happy, I can't wait to put it up. And it has the little built-in lights already. And then I brought out some other lights that can either go on the tree or somewhere maybe around the apartment if there's a good spot for it. But you guys are literally gonna kill me. I just did my makeup, I changed because I have to go. There's a photographer in town, like the photographer who does all the studios photos like kind of action photos and headshots i think i mentioned i got my headshot taken yesterday but then an opportunity to came up to get some like live teaching photos taken so i'm gonna go meet up with my friend daniela and we're gonna walk to the studio together where they're taking the photos it's not at rockland like where i had to drive the other day we're gonna do like a nice hot girl walk together she's also a new instructor and we knew each other before neither of us knew each other was auditioning to become a bar instructor and then we both auditioned at the same time got accepted and trained together so it really brought us closer which is super nice so the tree is gonna have to wait until tonight i need it to go up tonight like i'm part of me is like oh i guess i could do it tomorrow because i'm planning to film my monthly reset tomorrow but I'm like, no, it, it has to go up today. Like, come on. Uh, really quickly before I run out the door, I wanted to just talk to you guys a little bit about something kind of that's like, I've just like an unsettled feeling I've had the past couple of days. And yesterday I was really able to put my finger on what it is. So this time of year, I think a lot of us can feel like holiday blues. We can feel really pulled in two different directions where it's like, this can be a very difficult time of year, it can be very expensive. And there's a lot of like comparison, I think that can creep in this time of year, at least for me. I think, you know, 
this time of year with the holidays and everything, people start showing more inside their homes, they're showing their trees, they're showing their decorations. And I really, really tend to compare myself when I start seeing those things. I'm like, wow, look how clean this person's house is. Look how well decorated this person's house is. Look how big this person's house is. Like just all the things that I don't need to be focusing on. Like. <laughs> It literally doesn't matter. I have a beautiful place to live and I know I should be so grateful for that and I am. It's just when I'm constantly flooded with these images, the comparison takes over the feelings of gratitude and I start to feel icky and I start to feel like something's wrong with me or that I'm not, you know, doing well enough in life or working hard enough or doing like just really, really negative messaging comes in. And I was starting to kind of talk negatively to myself yesterday and then I was like, why? Why am I saying this to myself and I realize that this is a pattern that I have every single time of year when the holidays rolls around because you feel this pressure to decorate, shop, be merry, be jolly, be in the spirit, but like <laughs> it's kind of like forced upon you and I think if you can lean into it and romanticize the season then that's beautiful and I try and do that as much as I can. But it's like if I'm not ready to romanticize just yet or if I'm feeling a bit off one day then you like I tend to feel like there's something wrong with me. So if you feel that way too, there is nothing wrong with you. I just wanted to share that. That is why like this reason and what I'm talking about is why I started the Sunday chat series last year when I was doing Vlogmas. And I'm not gonna do Vlogmas again because it was just too much for me. And even watching other people's Vlogmas is like, I can't really keep up, but I definitely wanna bring back the Sunday chats because I know this time of year can be hard and I just want my channel to be a comforting place where you guys can come. I mean, I want it to be that year round, but I know especially we might need a little boost this time of year. So I wanna bring that back. And I guess just share that, like share what I'm feeling and let you guys know that like it's normal, but also you're wonderful and amazing. Your life is wonderful and amazing. There's no such thing as a life that's better than yours. And we don't need to fall into this trap of comparison. I'm just gonna grab my phone because I was kind of like journaling about this yesterday um, in the car. We were like driving around and I was like, I think I've been on Instagram a lot. Like when we were at the car dealership and Jess was like talking with the guy, I was just like on Instagram and seeing all these people, their beautiful homes. And then anyway, I just like whipped out my notes app and started journaling. Yeah, okay. So everything I already talked about and then I wrote, that's the fucked up side of Christmas is comparing your cheer and your coziness to others. And everyone's telling you, you need to be cheerful and cozy and you need to be decorating and you need to do this, you need to do that. And maybe you're just not ready. So I think, uh, I think I said it all. I'm going to go for my walk now and hopefully we're going to get in the Christmas spirit when I come home. I'm just like, I'm trying, I'm really trying. And you know, JS doesn't give an F and like all the girls, that I was with last night, it was like a bunch of couples. All the girls are like trying to get into Christmas spirit. The boys don't care. It's like, but then you see those couples online and it's like, they're like making out in front of their Christmas tree while setting it up together. And like, you know, all, the, all those like very, very staged reels. And, but you see it and you know it's staged, but you still a little bit wonder like, what's wrong with me? So there you go. Nothing's wrong with you. Nothing's wrong with me. Our lives are beautiful and amazing. Let's remember that. That took about 10 minutes. As soon as I put on the cozy ambiance music, I was like in the mood. Like it really, really did something to me. You just look up on YouTube, like cozy Christmas ambiance, or like when it was fall, it was like cozy Halloween. You can do jazz. I love watching the Harry Potter ones. There's one that's called You Spend Christmas at Hogwarts. It's sublime. Whoever makes these videos, obsessed. There's so many different channels. So check that out. Now it's time to put up the decorations. I really don't have much. 
uh, I kind of like the look of a more naked tree and I was never someone who felt the need to just fill it with ornaments just because I wanted each of the ornaments to be a little bit special and my hope was that every year I can buy just one or two more ornaments and then you know I'll be like a grown up and have many ornaments. So I don't have that many to, uh, to put on right now. Only a few and I definitely have a little animal theme going. I wasn't doing that on purpose but it just kind of worked out that way. I also have this fake snow that I'm gonna wrap around the tree. So yeah, I only have four Christmas ornaments. I have two that I got in Bromont, which is where the little town where we go skiing, this like ballet dancing mouse, and then mouse on a giant puffy ball. <laughs> and then these I bought in Indiana two years ago and I was like, oh, it's like JS and I, they're so cute. I bought them from Target. Um, so those are the only ornaments I have right now. I'm hoping that actually for our monthly reset, I'm gonna go pick out just a few little more ornaments. And you guys probably heard me complaining earlier in the video. I really wanna get an elf to put on the shelf, even though we don't have a shelf anymore. So we're gonna put these on and um, I'm gonna leave you guys with some B-roll to just wrap up this video. Let me just say thank you so much for spending the past couple of days with me. Really hope you enjoyed this vlog and I will see you in my next one. Bye.